Brian here from quantlabs.net. Alright, so got uh, things hopefully underway finally. Um, looks like I found, uh, I don't know if it's a half solution or a full solution to get R talking with R Hadoop and Hadoop itself. Um, I'm going to assume they got Hadoop uh, installed. Um, it's just too bad that the people behind the R Hadoop cannot uh, provide uh, the right documentations as something like this uh, what I'm about to show you to get everything up and running and um, I followed it pretty well precisely and it seems to be running okay um, but uh, let me just show you um, thanks to a comment from somebody on my original post uh, a little earlier today on um, you know just revolutionary analytics and the R Hadoop kerfuffle about getting stuff um, uh, documented but nonetheless I was led to this uh, pretty good resource of uh, getting R Hadoop working with uh, R Hadoop's RMR package which is part of R Hadoop so um, essentially uh, there's he's this, this person by the name of Jeffrey Breen uh, right here um, works at Microsoft Research I find that kind of funny but nonetheless, he's put together a full-on um, presentation uh, with a slide share, a slideshow of um, how to get R Hadoop working from ground zero on the exact setup that I have of CentOS. I can confirm it does work. Um, and uh, essentially, let me show you what that looks like. Okay, so it's, when you come into this to this website here, it'll take you to the slide share. Um, and then you'll, or you could probably download right from SlideShare itself um, and just do a download right here uh, if you're not familiar with uh, SlideShare. But nonetheless, once you get a PDF of, of that, um, as I said, this guy, we, I wouldn't get this far without this guy, Jeffrey Breen. Um, so thanks to him and the comment posted by somebody um, on my own site from our bloggers uh, was a visitor. Well, I, I wouldn't have gotten this done, but thankfully uh, I managed to somewhat um, accomplish a lot more than I initially thought. So let's let me show you what we're dealing with here. So this is a uh, PDF, um, blah blah blah, how to install, um, you know, e even all the way from VMware, uh, how to get Git installed, um, and then how to get R installed. It's pretty pretty full on. Um, I'm pretty happy that I've uh, come across this. Um, here's the command that I would use to install R. Uh, I can confirm that's the exact same way I did it through my CentOS. Um, and then once you get everything all installed, um, you then create this Hadoop R, download Hadoop R from Git, uh, I guess from this guy's repository of Jeffrey Breen. And then from here, you can. Um, basically download uh, a document um, you know from statistical document and create a, a new CSV file comma separated file and then um, you can run uh, Hadoop jobs um, as here create your um, Hadoop uh, uh, files and directories on the file system within Hadoop these are the commands to do it um, and then you can move over your <coughs> your created CSV file onto that file system on Hadoop um, and then you can start running Hadoop jobs um, and these are the commands right here that do that um, and these are the output uh, it's a really fantastic document um, and then it will walk you through uh, how to install the RMR package for uh, the R MapReduce which is part of the R Hadoop <coughs> and then you can um, do an install within your R environment using these commands here. Uh, every, I did everything as, as just root. I just can be bothered going through the unnecessary uh, privilege problems that you get typically within Linux. Uh, I haven't worked with Linux in a while, but nonetheless, I got it working. It's all good. Um, you can load up your RMR library within R here, um, and then you can um, do further. Um, jobs within R and this is where everything fell apart for me is, is right here within R running these uh, DF um, objects I guess um, from your DFS uh, from Hadoop or yeah from R Hadoop itself once you get everything set up 
and it just this couldn't be defined. There was some kind of error. Um, I'll, I'll show you that. It's probably something stupid configuration-wise at my end. Um, so let me show you that within my uh, CentOS uh, Linux environment here. Um, all right. So essentially, this is my whole session of everything to get it all set up. Um, you know, I've got my Hadoop um, name and all that, uh, or that environmental variable set up. Coming to R, um, everything loads fine. So I, I create, I start my R session. <coughs> the uh, library, or the, sorry, the package for um, R works. The RMR loads, no problem. And here, this is where I run into the problems when I start. Um, essentially trying to create that DF object within R. As you can tell, things have failed. Uh, code error R5. Uh, so it's something very, I'm um, hoping, simple. But um, it, it, it's looking good. <coughs> um, and then I get some other error code of uh, 127. So, so far so good up until the last few lines. Um, I don't know why they're failing. Um, as I said, I'm no R expert, even fairly new to Hadoop itself. But um, as I explained in, the, in another video <coughs> with Cassandra, that's my preferred way. But the R Cassandra <coughs> package seems to be kind of, I don't know, probably, again, a configuration at my end. That might be a problem. Right? I've run into some issue with that as well. But if anyone can help me out with the Cassandra, that would be um, purely awesome. Um, because I can do the Cassandra, or sorry, the R Hadoop for now. Um, and uh, maybe start moving from there. And then I'll talk to you later.